Hi everybody, it's Rob again from Ohio Radon Systems. Um, today we're in another house where we've been called out to fix a radon mitigation system that's not operating properly. Um, we did not install this system. Um, the company that did is no longer a business, so the, the owner of the home contacted us to repair it. A couple things we noticed with this system that we'd like to point out. Um, here's the suction point where the riser piping goes through the basement floor to access the sub-slab material below the home. Uh, one of the things we noticed was the distance from the actual foundation wall to the suction point is a little short. Uh, there's a footing underneath this foundation wall and generally we like to stay at least 12 to 13 inches from the back side of our suction point. Uh, when you hit the footer or even come close to it, uh, you reduce your airflow, the amount of air that you can move underneath the floor. Uh, a couple other things that we noticed here, this pipe travels up vertically and then it heads sideways out into the garage where it pokes through the band joists of the garage. Um, we really, this, this piping is flat right here. It needs to slope back towards the suction point for condensation. And another thing we noticed here is the piping is extremely loose. Okay, we'll take you out in the garage and show you a condensate leak at the ceiling. Okay, everybody. We're here back at the same house. We're in the garage now. Um, one of the main reasons we were called here today is because of condensate leak here at the garage ceiling. There's a pretty good close-up of it. Um, what this stems from is the riser pipe that we're about to show you in the attic does not slope properly back towards the suction point in the basement. So when you discharge the warm air from underneath the home, it contacts a cold pipe inside the attic space and the condensation sits flat in the pipe and it has nowhere to go except the leak at the first coupling right here. A couple other things we noticed right here. This is where the 90 enters the band joist and goes into the basement where the pipe continues down the wall to the suction point. Uh, this is a firewall borders the separation between the garage and the living space of the home. There should be some type of firewall protection here, fire collar, um, however we don't see any evidence that anything was applied here. We're also looking at the uh, system labels here and it looks like the contractor didn't label the system as far as the date that it was installed or what type of system it is or the fan type. Next we'll take you into the attic. Okay now we're on the outside of this home. Um, right here is the uh, where the riser pokes through the garage roof. Um, a couple things we noticed here, the roof flashing uh, was not installed properly. The flashing should be tucked underneath the roof shingles and it simply sits right on top. Uh, another thing you can't really see well from down here, um, we were up on the roof with a ladder and the varmint screen that's on the top of it is no longer in place. It's just kind of sitting there. Uh, so we're going to reflash the roof for this client and put a new um, PVC varmint cap. This one is just a, uh, a real thin type of like window screen that sits on here. Next we'll take you to the attic. 